Ager and Yellen, 1927, year of my birth. Hey, let's uh, play this and um, then we'll talk about it. Ain't she is sweet? See you coming down the street. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Ain't she nice? Look her over once or twice. Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she nice? Just cast an eye in her direction. Oh my, ain't that perfection, Bodie do I repeat, don't you think that's kind of neat? Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Just cast an eye in her direction. Oh me, oh my, ain't that perfection? Bodie oh do I repeat, don't you think that's kind of neat? Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Now I ask you very confidentially, ain't she sweet? Very confidentially, you can tell me. Ain't she sweet? So, if you do Wikipedia on Ain't She Sweet, you get like 90 listings of recordings. So, um, Pearl Bailey may be one of the most famous Frank Sinatra, of course. The Beatles recorded this, 1964. It was the last release, single release, with Pete Best as the drummer. True facts. Fun facts to know and tell. And, what was it? It hit number four on the Swedish Gval Stopen. Gaval Stopen charts. Gaval Stopen must mean hot songs, hot hits or something. 1964, Beatles. But uh, anyway, 1927 classic. The basic strum, down, up, down, up. Switch chords, down, up, down, up. And then share a chord, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And those two shared chords, the first one is down, up, down, and the second one is up. So... You've got C, E7. That's your two down up, down ups, and then a shared A7, A7 plus 5. Now, A7 plus 5 sounds scary, but that's just A7 with a friend stacked right underneath it, second string, first fret. And so you would go down, up, down, stack, down, up, down, put your finger in. Down, up, down. So the second group of four chords, D7, G7, C, G7. So you're switching to G7 on the up. Down, up, down, switch. Down, up, down, switch. Works the same way throughout the song. Now, Whoever put this together for the San Jose Ukulele Club put some stops at the end of um, some of the verses so that CG7 might sound like this without a follow through on the strum. Uh, and that happens in a couple of different places, maybe one, two, three places, it looks like. 
Um, so the uh, so that was the intro. Then on the first verse, it's ain't, and then the C um, sharp diminished is uh, any e minor seven, but played on the first fret. So it's so it's a one and the three, first string, third string, first fret for a nice diminished sound, and then a D minor G seven shared. And a repeat, C. And then uh, you go to the second line, first verse. I'm staring because I'm seeing it's exactly the same as the intro. Ask you very confidentially. A. And I'm playing a bar D7. Your chord chart is going to show you a um, island D7, which is perfectly fine. She, where is it? A, A, G, sweet. And that is one of the endings where the G7 is just as simple. Down, up, down, up on G7. Down, up, down, slide, and up. And then second verse, ain't she nice? The exact same as ask. I'm looking at the second line. Ask. It's the same as the first verse, except where you get to sweet at the end, it keeps going because you're going to go into the bridge. So I ask you E7, A7 share, D7, G7, long C, because you have to get it. Get in the phrase just cast in. Uh, a, I'm on the fourth line. A, G, nice, just cast in. And then you've got to figure out what you're going to do with your F minor. A lot of people will reconfigure like this. I, since I'm playing a C anyway, I like to put my index finger down here where I would start my F and just wrap my thumb over the top. I in her direction. Otherwise, you're going just just cast an eye in her direction. And I have probably told you before, F minor, you can play as a C sus four without that top string, um, first fret, uh, fourth string. You can play it as uh, just. Cast an eye in her direction. And I'm just trying to strum on the bottom three, bottom three strings. What happens if I do all four? Just cast an eye in her direction. No one will hear you. No one will care. So if you can do F minor, great. If you can't, do C sus four. Can't do that, scratch it out. If you can't do that, do C, cast an I in her direction. Oh me, oh my. So that's F minor, two full measures, then C, two full measures, then F minor, two full measures again. Me, oh my. Ain't that C full measure perfection? And I threw in some Bodio does on the um, playthrough, and that's a total riff on my part. That's not part of the song, but I, that D minor G seven always makes me think of Obodio do. Obodio do, I repeat. Same as the first verse, instrumental. Same. You've already done that. As the second verse, same chords, and then you roll into the bridge again at the end of the instrumental with the long C. Just cast an I, F minor, two full measures in her direction. C, two full measures, same bridge all over again. It was nice of them not to direct you up the page, but to print the bridge again. And then uh, the um, third verse, same as the first two, 
And then the last tagline, I slowed it down in the playthrough. And I think that works pretty well. Now I ask you very confidentially, A4, D7, not short, full G7, she, sweet. And I think in the playthrough on one of the D7s, I didn't hit it very well. And so I played a full measure of D7 and full measure of G7 in order to catch up with the playthrough and make it sound like I knew what I was doing. So if you pick up on that, if you're looking at the charts and you say, wait a second, he's playing that D7 a lot longer. I think it was in the first verse. It's because I missed, I mishit my D7 and I was trying to catch up to it. So that's Ain't She Sweet. And uh, we're going to have fun with that. A great, great old classic song. And uh, we'll have fun with that on the 15th. Ciao, Bella. Buongiorno. Aloha. <laughs>